In this lesson, we will learn how to clean the data in Pandas. Cleaning the data means uh, basically to work on an incorrect data to fix it. Or the data can also have null values or it can be a duplicate data. In Pandas, we have some built-in functions to fix such incorrect data. In this lesson, we will consider the following demo.csv file. Okay, and we will try to fix it. The data in the demo.csv file is having null values. And here is a demo.csv file. Okay. You can see we have some empty values. We will work on this data. In the previous lectures, we saw how to create a CSV file using Excel, Microsoft Excel. Okay, we also saw how to read it and we also handle duplicate data. Okay. Now we will see the following examples using the built in functions of uh, pandas and we will clean the data using the is null method, not null, drop any and fill any method. All of these have uh, different properties. Okay. Here we will try to find the null values and we'll replace them with true. Here we will find the not null values and replace them with true. And the following two are basically used to drop the rows or replace the null values with a specific value. Let's say we want to set a value 100 for the null values in our CSV file. You can do it with fill any method. Let us start uh, with the first example to clean the data using the is null function. Find the null values and replace them with true. So what about the non null values? Those will get replaced by false. Let's see the example. Here we have our PyCharm. Okay, we are using the PyCharm community edition, which is free and open source. Let us create a new project. Go to file. Click new project. Here and add the project name. You can add any name to the project and the following is the location of the project. Click create. Here's our new project. Let us create a new file. Right click new Python file. Add the name of the file. Let's say I'll add demo one. It will automatically add the dot py extension. Because the Python file is by default selected. Press enter. And we have created our first file. Since we are having total four examples, I'll create all the files quickly. Right click new Python file. Demo two. Demo three and the last demo four. Okay. We have created all the files. Now let us add the comment and create our first program. Now let us start with the first program. Pandas is null method. I'll import pandas first. Import pandas as pd. pd is our alias. Now let us input our csv file. Then we will load this in our data frame. Okay, this is the data frame object df is equal to pandas pd dot read underscore csv to read a csv here and add the path. Okay, to get the exact path, go to your file, right click. This is Windows 11, you can copy as path or if you are having Windows 10. Okay, I clicked on show more options. On Windows 10, the following will be visible. You need to just click on copy as path. Go to your project, right click and paste the path. That's it. One more slash. That's it. And just display. The CSV file records. Okay. What you need to print the DF data frame. That's it.
now we need to find and replace the null values with true using the is null method okay take a new object resdf let's say is equal to data frame dot is null that's it okay now return the new data frame print df you can also type dot to string now i'll just mention a message file save all run demo one Okay, I did a mistake. It should be RESDF because the new data frame is the following. It looks fine. Run. Here you can check the following was our data frame CSV with two null values, and the null values will be replaced by true, and rest will be replaced by false. So you can easily find the null values using this method. Guys, we saw how to use the is null method the second example includes how to work around the not null method what this method will do it will find the not null values and replace them with true the opposite of the previous method and for the null values it will return false let's see the example here it is using the is null method import pandas okay input csv file or uh, what i can do i can take the complete complete code copy Paste. Okay, we have input to the CSV file using the read underscore CSV method, and we have also printed the data frame in which it was loaded. Now we will replace the not null values with true. Create a new data frame RESDF, the resultant data frame. Data frame dot not null. Okay. Now return the data frame, the new data frame because it will be having our output. RESDF, you can also add the two string here. Now mention a message. New data frame. That's it. Go to file, save all, right click, run demo to. okay now these were our null values under points and uh, it it is now replaced by false and rest of the values are true okay so the opposite of the previous function is null method okay uh, sorry not null method guys we saw how to work with the not null method to find the not null values and, and replace them with true let us see the next example in this example we will use the drop any method this method is used to drop and remove rows with null values okay let us see the example 3 using the drop any method okay we have the following null value so this will get deleted now let me import pandas import pandas as a pd we have imported a library I'll load our CSV file from here and we'll also print it. Here it is, we have loaded a demo.csv and we printed it after loading it in the data frame. 
find and remove rows with null values resdf we have created a new data frame for the result data frame dot drop any that's it now what we need to do return the new data frame that is resdf you can also mention two underscore string okay now just mention a message after removing rows with null okay this is fine file save all right click run demo 3 now we can check the following was our data frame or csv and 6.1 and 4.5 frequency will get deleted you can't find them after 3.2 you will directly have 1.2 here it is 3.2 1.2 so we have deleted the null values so if by mistake you added such values or it got added you can easily remove them if your data sets are really huge then these functions are really helpful guys we saw how we can use the drop any method to drop and remove rows with null values we deleted the entire row now the last example in which we will use the fill any method to replace the null values with a specific value demo for fill any method okay in the brackets you can see we have a value this is the value you want to fill in place of the null values okay import pandas as pd now take your data frame your csv load it and add it in the data frame paste okay we have loaded our we have loaded our csv using the read underscore csv method and added it to the data frame and printed the data frame okay let's say i'll place 111 instead in place of all the null values so null values are here triple one will get placed here take the resultant data frame resdf df dot fill any okay and add the value triple one you can add a message also okay after replacing null with a specific value go to file save all we have added 111 run these two were our null values okay we have replaced them with 111 can add a slash and also new line also here okay this looks fine now right click run now it will be displayed properly right click run now this looks fine okay we have replaced it with triple one so in this way guys we can work on data we can clean the data we saw how to replace null values with a specific value we replaced it with triple one you can add any value guys in this video we saw how we can use the built-in functions of python pandas to clean the data we found the null values and replaced it with a specific value 
we also saw how we can display true in place of null or non-null values. Thank you for watching the video.